Mustafa Suleiman is the co-founder of AI research lab DeepMind, which was acquired by Google and co-founder and CEO now of Inflection AI. His new book out today, The Coming Wave, Technology, Power, and the 21st Century's Greatest Dilemma. Uh, you were one of the originals, um, the OGs, if you will, in the <laughs> AI revolution and uh, want to talk about it. Uh, it's called the coming wave, and we were just talking about the, you're getting the book out now because you think that the wave is about to, not crest, but it is coming and coming fast. Where will, it, you know, how quickly is this moving? Well, I mean, intelligence is the most valuable tool we have as humans, right? And what we're seeing is that we're able to distill that intelligence, the ability to plan, predict, organize information, create new things into a piece of software, into an algorithm, and it's getting better and better. So with every new big training run, people will have heard of GPT-4 or GPT-3, each of these models are 10 times larger in terms right. of the total amount of compute that's used to produce them than the previous one. How much, though, is this a hype cycle? And the reason I ask is, I think a lot of us have played with ChatGPT, and a lot of people even use it on a daily basis or a weekly basis, but mostly for things that are not mission critical yet. Right. Right. When does it become mission critical? Well, if you compare GPT-4 versus GPT-3, you can see what an order of magnitude feels like in terms of compute and how different the capabilities are. With each new order of magnitude, the models get more controllable. And that's the key thing, is you want them to be factually accurate and then you want them to produce the same behavior over and over again. And that's the remarkable trend that we've seen. As they get bigger, right. they don't get more dangerous. They actually get easier to How control. How much are we supposed to worry, though, that I think even you are not completely clear on how it all works. Sometimes we talk about hallucinations. That's the sort of phrase in the business when it sort of starts to say stuff that nobody understands why it's doing that. Is that unto itself a problem? Well, look, hallucinations are definitely an issue. Right? At the moment, they don't reliably produce the same output over and over again. However, again, if you compare them over the previous two or three generations, they're doing a much, much better job. And so in my book, I try to lay out what the trajectory might look like right. over the next five to 10 years if we move through these orders of magnitude. Okay, so let's, let's do that. Five years from now, we're sitting at this table. How is our life, everybody here changed? Everybody is gonna have an intelligent assistant, a personal intelligence that knows you, that is super smart, that understands your personal history, and can actually hold state. It can preserve things in its working memory. So it will be able to reason over your day, help you prioritize your time, help you invent, be much more creative. It'll be a research assistant, but it'll also be a coach and a companion. And so it's gonna feel like having a intelligence as a commodity, cheap, widely right. available, making, us, making everybody smarter and more productive. Okay, but when you say that, so, okay, so for this interview, I knew this interview was coming up, so I, I got a PDF of the book, which was sent to me. Uh, we also had a producer who went through the book as well. Right. Um, we looked at a lot of different, different things. I went and read an, uh, an old article about you in Wired Magazine. Right. And all, okay. So the question, though, is that took me some time to, to do that, and I was sort of Googling around and doing, doing some stuff, and we've, we've met before and known each other. So, but in the future, would I just say Mustafa's going to be on the show tomorrow? Just break it down for me, write five questions for how is this, how would this, and would the five questions be good? Well, in my new company, Inflection, we have an AI called Pi, which stands for personal intelligence. And it is the ultimate synthesizer of information. I mean, that's what a smart aid will do for you. Capture the key points that you need to know at any given moment, given some context, exactly as you've just described. So the way I see it is that in five years, everybody is gonna have their own chief of staff. It's going to intimately know your personal information, be completely aligned with your interests, and help you to manage and process all the information you need to consume. Okay, let me ask you a different